Hello and welcome all my dear drill champs. How are you? I hope you all are good. My dear little champs, welcome once again to the grammar lecture for second standard. This is Rohan sir from Madhi English Medium School. I welcome my dear students in one interesting grammar lecture for today. My dear little champs, in the previous few lectures we have done the new english topic the new lesson we have done we read we have even done the hard words part we understood the english lesson so i thought let us put a pause on the english lecture so that you can get a change in the lectures so today i thought let us introduce a new grammar chapter for you we have done all the grammar chapters for which i have got a good feedback good homework photos good doubt solving sessions also happened on every saturday so my dear little champs today i hope that you all are sitting with your books so please keep your grammar textbook in this lecture if you do not have grammar lecture what you can do is at least keep your rough book and students i will suggest to those who are having textbook they also should sit with their rough notebook why because perhaps after solving the exercises i may even introduce a new worksheet for the same chapter which we are going to start now you will say that sir you have given a whole lot of introduction and you have made us eager to know what we are going to do because since when you are saying we are going to start new topic interesting topic this and that so what is the objective of today's session is learning and understanding the concept of gender yes that means we are going to start with the new chapter from vocabulary part of your textbook vocabulary chapter 4 gender this is what we are going to start today so which is on page number 6060 of your new textbook yes that means you all know that grammar textbook has been changed so you should know that the page numbers are different for the different textbooks if you are having the old copy the textbook number the page number might be different so i hope that you all are ready with your grammar textbooks if you are not please be ready i'll give you a couple of seconds to get ready and i hope at least rough book is with you now here those who are having textbook they will be able to solve the exercises in the textbook itself with their pencils those who are not having again they will be able to write the answers because in the grammar you know that there are not the long answers there are the type of objective questions always So I hope you all are ready by now. Now I will display the grammar textbook on the screen for those who are not having the textbook. They will be able to look at the screen, observe the textbook, read the questions, and everything given in the textbook. So let's get started, children. This is your grammar textbook, chapter number four, from vocabulary, obviously. Gender. Now, before starting anything. the main topic of the gender is given in your textbook itself in on the heading part itself can you see a picture here brother and sister are sitting and studying i hope that if you are having a brother or a sister you also might be sitting like this with them to study at home so here brother and sister are studying so who who two people are uh, studying here brother and sister so they are the gender we are going to study here yes they are the gender What means this is a boy this is a girl this is a brother this is sister this is son this is daughter this is what we are going to study in this chapter so let's get started first of all look at the pictures man woman grandfather grandmother bull cow rooster 
hen. So what are all these? Will you say these are the opposites? No. These are the opposite genders. So students like boy and girl are there. Not all boy and girl. You can say that bull is a kind of boy and cow is a kind of girl. No. Like we human beings have different genders. Man, woman, boy, girl. Similarly, animals also have the different gender. But what is the perfect name for all the men side and all the woman side? All the men and women side, they might be having something, some name, right? That name is masculine gender and feminine gender. That means grandfather, man, bull. These all are the masculine. Grandmother, cow, woman. These all are the feminine. Masculine means all the boys. Now whether it is in the human being or the animal. Feminine means all the girls. Whether it is in the human being again or in the animal. Now you see if I say bull. Bull is a kind of boy in the animal if we count. It is masculine gender. Cow in the same way we, we call them in the side of girls. It is feminine. So for not all the genders we can say it is boy and girl. Can we say grandfather is a boy? He is a man obviously. But he is grandfather. So for all we cannot say these are the boys and these are the girls. So these all are the masculine and these are the feminine. Let us understand it by reading the definition. The nouns man, grandfather, bull and rooster stand for male animals and people. These nouns are said to be of masculine gender. So as you can see here man, grandfather, bull, rooster. These all are the male, either animal or human being. But they are male. So that is why they are known as masculine gender. They are said to be the masculine gender. Similarly, the nouns woman, grandmother, cow and hen stand for female animals and people. These nouns are said to be the feminine gender. Now again if you can see here woman, grandmother, cow, hen. These all are the nouns which stands for the female. Either it is animal or a person. But they are female. That is why they are known as feminine gender. So for male it is masculine. For female it is feminine. It is uh, you know kind of uh, pretty rhyming male masculine female feminine so you will be able to remember it very easily at first it seems very difficult but once you get used to with these words then it will be easier for you to remember it so now you know what is masculine gender and what is feminine gender let us solve the exercise and you know explore our idea towards these gender Number one exercise is for match the masculine gender with feminine gender. So you just have to match the following. It is a kind of. Now masculine, feminine, two columns are given. Let us match these columns. Now you have to find the feminine gender of sir. So when you come to school, say for an example, if Rohan sir is there, you call sir. Because Rohan sir is male. Then what do you call to other teachers if they are female? If they are female, what do you call them? Do you call them aunt? No. Do you call them madam? That means ma'am? Yes. You either call them madam, miss or ma'am. So madam option is given here. So sir will be with the opposite gender. That means the feminine gender for sir will be madam. It's just that we put apostrophe in the place of D which makes it ma'am. So the spelling of ma'am will be M-A apostrophe A-M. Always make sure M-A-M is not the spelling of 
मैम मेनी ऑफ यू आर राइटिंग टिल द डेट आई हैव सीन इन योर होमवर्क वैन द स्पेलिंग इफ यू हैव टू राइट फॉर द मैम यू राइट एम ए एम विच इज इन करेक्ट एम ए एपोस्ट ऑफ ई ए एम इज द करेक्ट स्पेलिंग फॉर मैम लेट एस मूव ऑन टू क्वेश्चन बी किंग ओके सो वॉट इज द फेमिनाइन फॉर किंग कैन यू से आंट ऑब्वियसली नॉट मैडम इज ऑलरेडी बेस्ट क्वीन येस यू माइट हैव हर्ड किंग एंड क्वीन ऑफ दिस कंट्री राइट सो फेमिनाइन फॉर किंग विल बी क्वीन एंड स्टूडेंट्स आई होप दैट यू टू आर सॉल्विंग दिस इन योर बुक्स फॉर दोज हु आर सॉल्विंग इन द टेक्सट बुक दे डोंट हैव टू वरी राइट दे कैन जस्ट मैच एज आई एम डूइंग ह्योर but for the students those who are solving it in the rough book they simply have to write sir they can put equals to mark and they can write madam similarly king equals to queen this way you can do match the following so that easily you can write the answers and later when you get your textbook you can jot down the answers in the textbook as well or at least you can practice masculine and feminine from the rough book also so in the tests or in the exams you don't fee- face any difficulty question c uncle okay so what is the wife of uncle called do you call duck no you will say duck is an animal it is a bird or whatever you consider it an so will you say uncle the feminine gender of uncle is girl obviously wife of uncle will be girl but what is it exactly the noun the feminine it is aunt uncle aunt this is the correct pair uncle aunt please write the answers those who are writing in the rough book for the students who are writing in the rough book i hope they have written every single thing in the rough book chapter 4 vocabulary gender these details you have to write because when you send the photos to your follow up teachers they don't know which chapter are we in so your heading should say everything even your name and roll number should be there uh, followed by the message when you send the photos in their whatsapp now what about fox can you say duck no they are totally different animals can you say vixen yes so the feminine gender for the fox will be vixen now how about boy if you are a boy who will be your opposite gender see here boy is standing and here girl is standing so boy and girl and the last one is drag and duck so this way you had to match the gender masculine and feminine i hope students you have also solved this for those who are writing in the rough book i will repeat it one more time for you sir madam king queen uncle aunt fox vixen boy girl drake duck so these are all masculines now matched with their feminine gender i hope that you have noted down these answers in your rough books now dear students let us move towards the next exercise again which is very interesting few words you might be knowing what is the feminine or what is the masculine for the given words or for the given genders but few you might not be knowing so you are going to get the answers for that now so let us start question a brother let me zoom in the first part brother so what is the feminine gender of brother just now when i started this chapter on the very first page in the heading part we saw a picture and at that time i told you who is sitting with the brother yes sister so brother 
and sister please write the answers if you have written the answer please check your answers brother sister so brother is male masculine sister is female feminine i hope slowly you are getting the deep knowledge and understanding about masculine and feminine question b fisherman okay now you will say that sir we have heard men we have heard fish what is fisherman let me show you one picture and then i'll describe you further students just after this question can you see this picture here here the picture is of a man catching fishes by throwing the net in the ocean or in the sea so a man catching the fish and selling the fish in the market is known as fisher man because man is doing that job so what will be the feminine if man is doing that job and he is known as fisher man you need to just find the opposite gender of man so what is the opposite gender of man woman right so what is the opposite gender of fisherman the answer is very very easy isn't it it is fisher woman so let us write the answer here fisher woman and as fisher man is given in the singular we will write fisher woman also in the singular form i hope that you are writing the answer everything is same just men will be here changed into woman if m e n men was given here then we had to write then we had to write women moving on to the next question grandson let me show you the picture of a grandson what is grandson you will easily understand by looking at the picture again can you see students here the picture here very beautiful picture of a family here grandson is written now you know what is the meaning of son right so you are the son of your father and your mother but what about your grandparents that means you are the grandson of your grandparents that means what is the grand what is the meaning of grandparents the father and the mother of your father they are your grandparents here grandson is written can you see a grandson is very happily looking at us and is sitting with their grandparents so this is grandmother this is grandfather who are enjoying with their grandson so you are if you are the son then you are the grandson of your grandparents but only if you are male if you are a boy then you are the grandson of your grandparents but if you are a girl then what is it i will give you time to think about the answer your time starts now 5 4 3 2 1 zero now again let me show you one picture students i hope now you can see the picture of a girl enjoying with their with her grandparents so what is a girl called to her grandparents if a boy is grandson to to his grandparents then what is a girl to their grandparents to her grandparents simply for a boy you use the term son then for the girl you use the word the term daughter so grandson is a boy then granddaughter is a girl i hope that you have written the same answer check your spellings also here i have written the answer granddaughter that means if you are a girl the parents of your father are your grandparents and you are the granddaughter to them 
and if you are a boy then the parents of your father are your grandparents and you are grandson to them so grandson granddaughter the next question is niece n i e c e niece this is not nice the spelling of nice is n i c e but this is niece so what is that you will say that, sir what is niece and you will ask sir what is the opposite gender of it so here for a boy or the girl let me write the answer as it is bit complicated and you you would never have heard this so the answer is nephew nephew and niece you might have heard this so for the boy and the girl here when someone calls you nephew or niece for the boys and girls respectively here when your brothers daughter or brother's sister or your sisters or i can say in the simple words when your brother or sister's children are there boy or the girl you call them nephew or niece respectively so nephew is the answer again i shall repeat when your brother or sisters elder brother or sisters son or daughter are there then you call them nephew and niece respectively so this is the answer i hope it, that you have written and even after writing the answer please check your answers again the next is question e policeman what is policeman who is policeman you know what is police right let me show it to you can you see the picture of policeman standing here oh he is going to come at your home and going to hold you catch you no no it is not going to happen like that so this is a police man again police men men so it is masculine it is a male it is a term used for the male right so if man is doing the job in the as a police if he is serving as a police inspector he is known as police men how about the female if he is a male then how about the female if female are doing this job of police what are they called so students what is the opposite of man what is the opposite gender of man you will say that sir woman yes exactly woman so you can see here this is the lady this is the female working as police or police inspector so if man is a male then woman is female so let us write the answer here police man so here it will be police woman again here police man is given in the singular m a n so we will write woman also in singular let us go to the next part bridegroom okay who is this you must be wondering what is bridegroom so students a man who is going to marry he is called bridegroom so you will say that sir what is a woman who is going to marry called right but that is what you have to find if a man who is going to marry he is called bridegroom then what about woman when woman is going to get married what is she called your time starts now guess the correct answer 5 4 3 2 1 0 so here the correct answer is b r i d e bride if a boy who is going to marry is called bridegroom then the girl who is going to marry is known as bride very simple you have to just remove groom this is the word which is very easy because here you don't have to add anything in fact you have to subtract one word groom because this is a compound word bride groom so just if you have to keep bride for the girl 
let us solve few more empress now who is empress have you heard this word let me show you one picture you will easily understand who is empress can you see the picture of empress empress means queen right so what is the word for the king what is the male uh, what is the male word or the opposite word of empress let me show you the picture here the picture of king and queen both are given so she is empress then what is he okay i hope that you at least try to guess the answer let me write the answer here then for the male the word is emperor e m p e r o r emperor emperor is a male empress is a female i hope that you are writing the answers okay now we are going to solve this and then i will leave these two answers for you in the homework let us see how many of you will watch this lecture till the end and are doing this homework let us solve the last one sun so to whom do you call the sun do you remember this word grand sun so i told you that if you are a boy then you are the son of your father and mother if you are a boy then you are the son of your father and mother but then if you are a girl can you say yourself as son no there, there is a different word used answer is there already on the screen do you know where is the answer see if the opposite of grandson is granddaughter if you remove grand opposite of son is daughter simply if you are a girl then you are the daughter to your parents right so daughter is the correct answer so here we have solved many sent many words many sentences now it's time for you to solve these two and send it to your follow up teachers just when you finish watching this lecture so here i end my today's lecture Have a nice day stay safe goodbye